Hello and welcome. You join CJ Gilbert and Ask a Web Geek. We're coming to you live from the web jungle. We're in the web cave this morning in La Mesa, San Diego, California, and we're here to answer your questions about websites, marketing, email campaigns, and whatever else you're struggling with online or off in your business jungle. My name is CJ Gilbert. I'll be your host as we go through the jungle, and we have our community down here uh, of our Facebook community uh, that is live with us. I call them our live studio audience and they're right down here in the comment box. I'll be keeping an eye on them as well as talking to you through the show. So if you have not already joined our Facebook community, would you please? I've got a link to that on the Ask a Web Geek website. In fact, I'll just give you a quick whoop, show you that. Here's the Ask a Web Geek website. If you haven't already, come to the website askawebgeek.com. Click that green button right there to join our Facebook group. That's where the show gets started and where we uh, have the great discussion with our community, both during the show and throughout the week. And then would you also please click that blue button to subscribe on YouTube. That helps the show grow, and I would really appreciate your support there. Comment, like, share everywhere, right? Whatever social media channels you use would really appreciate your support there. So before we get into the material, I want to talk to you about our featured animal of the week. We've got Liz, our lizard. She's hanging out over my shoulder here, as she is most weeks during the show. You'll notice her most of the time right back there. So I just wanted to actually bring her on. I think we may have shown her off before um, in another show. But uh, I, I, we had to, we have to highlight her, right? So here's uh, Liz the Lizard. I am super creative with my animal names, you guys. I've got Gary the Gorilla, uh, Liz the Lizard. Uh, you know, I'm just, I'm really creative with animal names. So we've got to get a really great shot of the lizard there for you. Uh, maybe she's coming right out at you. Wah. So that's Liz. She'll be hanging out right over here in the corner. So if you have any questions for Liz, she's always right there in the show. Uh, we got Gary. Where is Gary? Gary's hanging up here in the tree, as a matter of fact. So that, that's that's usually where he is. He likes to hang out in the tree. So it, whether you have a question for Liz over here, the lizard, she she takes care of things that are mostly on the ground. And then we've got Gary, the gorilla. He's up here in the tree. Uh, he's Is he still sleeping? He might wake up, but uh, he's still sleeping up there. He had a long night last night, so... That's, uh, that's our animals in the jungle, and many more, many, many more. You're one of our an animals in the jungle, so we're glad that you're here with us this morning. All righty, enough of that silliness. Let's get into our PowerPoint slide and talk about what we're here to talk about this morning. It's Ask a Web Geek with your host, CJ Gilbert. That's me. I'm your web safari guide. I know a lot about the internet and stuff, uh, and our community does too. And this is the place where we say, what would you like to ask a web geek? You know, I talk to people about their website being their number one tool. Your website is your number one tool to grow and support your business. It's the only thing you can control and own online. So you should be using it to enhance each aspect of your business, attract more customers, make more sales, improve your customer service. These things increase your efficiency and your productivity. They help you save time, save money, and ultimately serve your clients better, faster, and easier. And we're here to, sh to share tools, tricks, tips, resources, and uh, ideas to make that work better for you. And I want to say congratulations. You know, if you're listening to this as a podcast, or you're watching this video later, I want to say congratulations because that means that you, you are a learner. You are a lifelong learner, probably, and you want to improve your business, and you're taking the steps you need to do to do so. So I want to say congratulations. I want to acknowledge you for just a minute. There's only a very small percentage of people that actively work on improving themselves and their business, and you're one of those people. So I want to welcome you to the show. Uh, take a moment, pat yourself on the back. I'd give you a big hug if I could and let you know that um, you're doing the right thing. And I know it's challenging. Man, I know it's challenging, right? Sometimes we have challenging weeks. Uh, it's been kind of a challenging week for me, uh, but I'm glad that you're with me this morning and that, that makes it all worthwhile, right? If we can 
if we can be here to support each other. So let's talk for a few minutes about the Ask a Web Geek show, how it works, how to get plugged in. You may have heard this before, or this may be your very first time to the show. I want to welcome you. Thank you. Uh, so this is how it works. This is kind of the progression of things. Ask a Web Geek. It is a Facebook group. Make sure you join our Facebook group, Ask a Web Geek. It's a public group. It's available for anyone to join, and that's where the show gets started. We go there. We go live into that group at 9 a.m. noon Eastern. 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern, every Wednesday morning, and we're talking to our Facebook community right now. Hi, Facebook community. Do you have any questions? Do you anything you want to shout out to the world right now? I'll let them know who said it and what you said. Um, so it starts there, Facebook. We're also on. T we're also on YouTube. So after we record the show first in our Facebook group, then we take it out of there. We edit it just a little bit, chop off the front and the back. I leave what I call the bonus material right there in the Facebook group. All the nonsense that gets set up at the beginning of the show, our setup, our testing the slides, our ch chitty chat with the people coming in and out of the room, uh, all that kind of stuff gets left right there in the Facebook group. But we do trim it up just a little bit for our YouTube audience. So we slice and dice, slice and that beginning and end right off and, and get that ready for our YouTube and our podcast listeners. Put that up on YouTube. Put that up as a podcast. We're also on Twitter. So if, you, if you're a Twitter user, please uh, follow us there. Ask a web geek. I've got my, my tweeter machine right down here ready to look at any of your tweets. So if you want to tweet along with the show, either live or later when you're watching it, tweet tweet to me. Ask a web geek. Tell me what episode you're watching, what what I'm covering in the moment, what your thoughts are about what I'm saying, what your questions are, your follow up questions. I would love to have that interactivity, even if it's not live from that nine to 10 Pacific time um, Wednesdays that we're actually recording this. That's the beauty of Twitter and the internet. You can watch this anytime. You can listen to this as a podcast anytime. And if you want to get in touch with me live in that moment, Twitter's a great place to do that because I've pretty much always got that near my hand and I can say uh, hello to you and answer any questions. So I would love to have you come to our Twitter, follow us there, ask a web geek and ask us any questions, uh, make any comments you have as you tweet along with the show. So once again, Facebook group, that's where it goes live. Then it goes over to YouTube. Would love it if you'd subscribe to YouTube. We're always looking for more subscribers to help grow the show on YouTube. And then it's also a podcast. I love podcasts. And I hope that if you're a podcast user, you'll find us there too. Uh, we're on Google Podcasts and Apple Podcasts and several other players. If you have a favorite player, uh, I would love it to know if we are there or not. I know for sure we're already on Amazon Alexa, we're on Spotify, we're on Stitcher, um, there's a few other places. So if you have a favorite place or player, let me know if we are or are not there. I'll make sure that it's, it gets there. Otherwise, use Apple Podcasts. That's where most people are subscribing and listening to podcasts. Or if you're an Android user like me, Google Podcasts is the best way place to go. All those links and details are at askawebgeek.com if you want any shortcut links to help you get to any of those places. Okie doke. A disclaimer. You must be willing to have your question or issue addressed in a public forum. This is a public show. We have ways of uh, protecting your private information. All password fields are always obscure. No one will see those. If we're going to log into your website or one of your active accounts and there's something you don't want us to see, I can do that off screen and then bring it on screen only when it's safe to do so. So let me know if you have any of those kind of concerns around your questions. Otherwise, for the most part, everything that we share here is publicly available and the information we talk about is usually pretty general and applies uh, and is okay to share in a public forum. So I, I will respect your privacy. I will respect any company secrets that you have, but know that there are ways that we can still talk about some topics in a public way. So just be cognizant, cognizant of that as we go through the show. If you have any questions, I want to make sure it's okay that we're answering those questions uh, live to the public. And keep in mind, this is not legal or professional advice. I'm just a web geek. I know a lot about the internet. I know a lot about websites. I've learned a lot about marketing and sales. I know about how to make these tools all work together, email marketing and social media and all that stuff. So that's where my speciality comes into place. And that's where I spend a lot of time talking from. Uh, but I am not an attorney and I'm not a CPA. So before you make any big 
uh, changes to your business, make sure that you have those people in your pocket. Make sure you have an attorney, a business attorney, and a professional uh, CPA that you rely on for those those business uh, really important bit pieces of business advice. You know, uh, any changes to your business. So make sure to get those people on board on your team. And if you need any recommendations, by all means, I'd love to introduce you to a couple great folks. And finally, you are responsible for everything. I'll do my best to present the best information that's at my fingertips. Our community is always chiming in with really great ideas, and they'll do the best they can. But of course, you accept responsibility for your business, and you accept responsibility for everything, including your own success. So who am I? I'm a web geek. I've been a web developer for over 20 years, and now I'm a speaker and author. I teach business owners how to think of their web like a tool to better improve their business. We're working on the website, but what we're really doing is working on your business overall. And my, I believe that my business is here to serve your business. And if you think of your website right and you're looking for ways to use these tools and technology to your advantage, it's going to help you do more business and do better business. And that's what we want for your business. We want your business to grow. And that's what I'm here to help you with. So keep on the lookout for that golden nugget. You know, our brains are so interesting. Every time you watch the show or listen to the show, even if you do it in multiple times, even if it's the same show that you're watching or listening over and over, your brain is going to pick up on different things every time. It's just the way our, our minds work. It's so interesting because you are in a different place each time you hear that content. So you'll get a different idea. It's going to hit you differently. So just be on the lookout for it. Also, I recommend that you grab some paper and draw a line right down the middle, label the left side notes and the right side actions. This gives you a place on that left side. You know, you could even do it like uh, two thirds of the page is what we call that left side. So you've got a lot of space to take notes, but you've also got a column off to the right where you can write out those action steps you want to take. There's going to be certain things. You're going to take a lot of great notes as we go through the show, but there's going to be certain things you want to move quickly on. So make sure to make those notes in that right column where you can find it quickly and move on it uh, after the show. And make sure to star those golden nuggets so you can find them. Ask a Web Geek, sponsored this week by a couple wonderful companies and people. The first one is the Active Life Company. This is an all-natural skin protectant called Cover, and it's brought to us by our very own Melissa Allen with the Active Life Company. And I was so pleased when she gave me a coffee mug and became our first official coffee mug sponsor of the show the active life company so here's to you melissa cheers thank you so much for your coffee mug thank you for being our first official sponsor of the show and this is the moment where i give her a huge shout out and thank her for being a member of our community first of all she's been around since the beginning she's been asking great questions and participating with the show really appreciate her involvement as our community member and then she stepped up and said cj i'd love to give you one of my mugs and have you have that on the show so here it is and uh, so, of course, I want to spend just a minute to talk about her wonderful product uh, cover, an all-natural skin protectant. This is like a sunscreen that you can use if you live an active in the sun lifestyle. You'll want to make sure to check out Melissa's company, theactivelifecompany.com, theactivelifecompany.com. And guess what she did? She made a special code just for you so you could get an additional 15% off. It's web geek, W E B G E E K, all one word, all uppercase. Web geek. That is a special code she created just for you so you could get 15% off by being part of our community. Thank you, Melissa. What a wonderful gift for everyone. So if you have an active lifestyle, I would encourage you to get some of this sunscreen and use our code web geek to save yourself an additional 15%. Also, I want to remind you about the amazing call that I'm on every morning with Eric Lofholm. You know, he provides this as a free service so that you can get fired up. It's a 15-minute call. It's totally free, and it allows you to get into the right mindset of success 
in the morning. The call is live at 7.45 a.m. Pacific time, but it's available in several different ways. All you have to do to get all the details is go to this link, amcall.gilbertstudios.com. That's a.m. like the morning time, 9 a.m. amcall.gilbertstudios.com. Go to that link, pop in your email address, and he's going to send you all the info. You're going to get the phone number and the access code if you want to jump on the live call with everyone. Uh, whether you can make that or not, uh, that's no problem because it also goes up later as a YouTube show and it's a podcast and there's a website where you can listen to it later or you can subscribe to it as a podcast. So however it works best for your schedule, if you can be on it live, I would encourage you to do that. I am on the call live every morning with a couple exceptions during the week. I can never be there on Thursday because of another obligation. And sometimes life happens and you just can't make it there uh, <clears throat> one of the other days. But that's no problem because even if I miss that live call in the morning, I still listen to it later uh, through that podcast website. So that's super helpful. So you can get all the details at amcall.gilbertstudios.com. Just go ahead and give him your email address and he'll send you all the details so you have it saved in your email. Whether you, Again, whether you want to participate in the live call, you'll need the access code or whether you want to just uh, check it out later as a podcast or both. I do both. I recommend both. So thank you so much. Shout out to Eric Lothholm for this amazing call that he does and the amazing service he provides to the business community. And then I also want to remind you about my free video workshop. It's called Five Keys to Unlock the Profit Hidden in Your Website. Last week, I gave you just a little taste of it as we went through the first key and we talked about your demographic targeting and your goals, your big goals for your website. But there's other keys. There's a total of five keys and they're designed to let you work on a little piece of your website, which is really helping you work on a piece of your business. So check that out. This is a free course for you. It's at mywebsitesafari.com. Mywebsitesafari.com. There's seven videos. You'll just go there and pop in your email address, and you have the choice whether you want to receive a reminder email once a day for those seven days, those seven emails, or once every three days, in which case you'll get it once every three days over the period of about three weeks. So you can consume that, um, those videos and you, it's up to you. You could go through it all at once if you wanted to. Some people are like, some people are like, Hey CJ, how do I just do it all? I want to do it all right now. <laughs> if that's you, that's no problem. There's a link underneath every video to take you to the next video. So if that's you, you want to jump in and just go through them straight through, go for it. I'm not going to get in your way. But if you're like most people, you want to consume just a little piece of content and then come back to it later. That's how it's intended to be. So if that works for you, great. You can have the choice whether to get that email uh, once a day and that'll you can work on it over the course of a week or once every three days, you can work on it over the course of three weeks. Watch the video. There's seven videos, 10 minutes each, and then there's usually a little exercise, some questions for you to go through. Uh, one of the videos, I even have a worksheet for you to download and walk through some material. So take check this out, free course designed to help you improve your website and your business. MyWebsiteSafari.com. All right, it's time to buckle up. So I'm gonna invite you to grab your, your canteen. I have my canteen here uh, near me. Whoa, that, that was the thunder, the thunder of the, uh, of the web jungle. It wasn't me hitting my keyboard at all. Uh, no, no butterfingers over here. That was that was thunder, uh, but that's okay because our our jeep. Are we in a jeep or a bus, or are we walking through with a machete? I'm gonna bounce back and forth um, with my metaphors because uh, because I can. Right? Let's say today we're in a jeep. I'm a little tired. I'm a little tired. I don't want to walk. I'll drive. So today we're in a jeep, and uh, and it's raining because there's thunder. So we'll be protected inside the jeep. Yes, I promise I'm going to say ridiculous things all the time because I don't have any problem with you laughing at me if the end result is your business gets better. Okay, our featured topic of the week is going to be a little bit different. We're going to head deeper into the web jungle. Today, I am ready for us to take a field trip 
and we're going to do some work while while we're going to do some work together. Uh, I decided that today would be a little bit of a show and tell experience instead of just a tell where I'm telling where I'm teaching or preaching on a particular topic. Today, I wanted to do something during the show. Sometimes that's fun. Uh, a couple episodes ago, we made a PayPal button right in the middle of the show, uh, which is a lot of fun. So we are going to do that today. Uh, let me set the stage just a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to make an email. Here's my intention for the show. Are you ready? We're going to make an email message, and I'm going to show you how I make an email, how we create it, how we craft it, how we test it, and how we add it to an auto response sequence. So this is an email that's going to be, um, let's do it this way. Let me show you uh, the Ask a Web Geek website. So we're going to pull that up now. And on the Ask a Web Geek website, we've got a place right down here for people to pop in their name and email address and stay connected, get latest alerts. Um, this is where this is. If you go here and you pop in your email, you'll get one email automatically with the details of the show, link to the Facebook, link to the YouTube. But I don't have any other emails in that sequence. So let's add one together. Let's add one right now. That's the intention for my show. I'm going to create an email that talks about some of the topics that we've talked about previously in the show and allow people to go find that information if they want to or give them some quick links to jump to those episodes. So that's my intention for the show, okay? So what we're going to do, I'm going to I'm going to pull us back to the other screen here real briefly because I'm going to log into my uh, my Aweber account. I recommend Aweber email provider and I'll pr I'll put a link for you in the show notes the my special link by the way is aweber.gilbertstudios.com aweber is spelled a w e b e r dot gilbertstudios.com and that's going to take you right over to aweber and it is associated with my account so that you'll get um, so that I'll get uh, acknowledgement that, that you came from my show and you might even get like a special bonus free trial or something like that because you've used my link. So if you if you do not already have an email provider or if you're using one that I don't recommend as much, perhaps you'll check out this one because it's my favorite. So I'm just logging into my account and I don't want you to see all the lists and everyone's information that's in here. So this is an example of me protecting other people's privacy for just a moment. As I find our Ask a Web Geek list, and here it is right here. Let's, have, let's take you over there so you can see what I'm looking at. Here we are. So we are inside the Aweber campaign screen, which um, there's a couple, by the way, there's a couple different kinds of emails that you can create. There is the, uh, there's a broadcast which allows you to send one email to your whole list and that's it. The second kind of an email is an email that's going off of an autoresponder sequence. So I'm going to add one of those kind of emails today. So when you join, if you were to go to the website that I showed you a minute ago, askawebgeek.com, and you put in your name and email, you're going to get this email right here. Uh, this is my welcome to the Ask a Web Geek campaign. And if we go inside there, you're going to get this email that says, Welcome to the web jungle. Let me let me take let me take you inside that take you inside that email so we can take a quick look at what that is. Ba, 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 ba. Now we're waiting on the internet. That's okay. I'll sing while we're while we're waiting. Whoa! It came up quickly. I didn't like I didn't like that threat. Okay, so here's the first email that you'll see when you join, and you can see it gives us a. Uh, you know, there's a graphic and it says congratulations and you can join the Facebook group and you can subscribe on YouTube and link to Twitter. OK, so that's that's a good, solid email right there, right? OK, so next I'm going to pop out of there. We're going to save and exit. And now we need to create a second email. So I'm going to create a second email that's going to go out three days later so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna drag this little uh, clock symbol and I'm gonna increase it to three days so three days after you get your welcome email 
you're going to get this email. So we're going to copy this message and we're going to create a new message and we'll go ahead and use the drag and drop. You can't update your active campaign. So we're going to pause the campaign real briefly while we create a message with our drag and drop editor. Wait for that to load for a moment. And we're going to create a new email right now that says, what should we call it? What should we, um, we need a good title and we're going to call it, hmm, what should we call it? Oh, this is interesting. This is our, our video one welcome email. That is from an entirely different uh, thing. This is the first email of my uh, video series at mywebsitesafari.com. So it is remembering that uh, template. So let's grab another one of my templates and we'll go ahead and put that information in. Bup, 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 bup. All righty. Okay, you know what? Let's do this a slightly different way. Mm, I'm thinking I'm thinking as we go here, folks. Okay, let's give this a subject line so we can come back to it. I'm going to add a personalization where we actually put the person's first name in here. So it's going to say Joe or John. Do you have any of these questions. Okay. You know, um, maybe we're going to go with this after all because no, no, we're not. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm just going to save this and then we're going to save and exit. It's been modified in another browser. I don't think so. This is fascinating radio, right? Listening to me wait for a computer. But that's what you get on the Ask a Web Geek show where things happen live. Let me know if you have any questions. Hi, studio audience. Let me know if you have any questions down there. I'd be happy to chat with you while, <laughs> while we're waiting for screens to load. We've got a couple people down here uh, on the call with us, so we'll see if they have any questions for us. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the previous email and I'm going to save it as a template. And that means that's going to allow us to pull it up in the new email and change some stuff. So we'll do it that way. So I'm pulling up the first email, the welcome email. And I should have done this a, a second ago when we were looking at it. But I thought it would let me copy it, but that's OK. We're going to go save. And I'm going to call this ask a web geek welcome it was the welcome email and we'll click save template. OK, and now we're going to save and exit. <laughs> All the good stuff today, guys. All the good stuff. OK, going into this email now. Do you have any of these questions? By the way, there is all is a sliding scale with the complexity of these things. You can you could set up your email sequence very, very simply. You could do it more complicated. It may look like I'm doing things more complicated and I am than probably is very necessary. We can start you out at the very basic level, uh, you know, where there's one email, one link. You know what I mean? Like it's not very it's not too many steps in the process. There's always more steps than you realize, but I can help you with those. That's what we're here for. Um, and I add Little bit of complexity because I like to track links and see who's clicking what when. But would you believe there's even more complexity than what I do? You can split test your emails. You can test different subjects and different headlines and, and all kinds of stuff like that with much greater uh, complexity. And I don't go even quite that far. So just know this can scale and be as, as complex or not as, as you need for your business. OK, so now we can go over here into the templates. We're in the new email now. Do you have any of these questions? Now I can go into my templates and now I can load the Ask a Web Geek Welcome. 
and you'll notice I have this box up here unchecked. This box says keep my message content. I wanted to go ahead and replace it completely, so I have it unchecked. And then we're going to go apply. There we go. Now I've got it. Okay, so this graphic, the first thing I want to do is replace this graphic. And I want to upload an image. And bear with me, please, real quick. I'm going to take a peek in my folder. Uh, which one do we want to do? Let's do, let's do this one. So we'll pop that one into place. Bup, 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 bup. Okay, so that puts our, that's gonna be kind of a little banner up there. And we can make it a little, um, let's make it a little smaller. Let's see what that looks like at 250. That looks pretty good. And that says Ask a Web Geek with CJ Gilbert. And then let me just check this uh, image link. So the image link is ask a web geek. This isn't the welcome email anymore. Uh, what's this one going to be? It's going to be the um, episode recap or questions. I'm going to call it recap because I'm going to know what that means. So uh, I'm just embedding a little piece of info in the code so that I know if someone clicks this image that that's the image they clicked. Um, that's the kind of complexity I'm talking about that I add, but that I don't go very many steps further. Okay, so that's Ask a Web Geek with CJ Gilbert, and we've got the link. Very good. Next, I want to um, make sure my pre-header, which is the information that is shared in your email preview before you actually open the email. There's a little piece of text. There's a lot of information in here. Ask me, ask me questions if you have any questions about the stuff that I'm going over, because there's a lot. When we're, when we're looking at live stuff, I have a lot of stuff to tell you about. Each little thing that I do and what it means and why and why you want to do it and why not. We could spend an hour on each little thing. So we'll come back to it. Watch what I'm doing. Ask me follow-up questions as we go, okay? All right, so let's see here. Uh, how, we're gonna write this email live. I've not written the email yet, guys. We're gonna do it right here together. I'm doing it all right here with you. So I also have, um, bup, 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 bup. okay. So this is gonna say, hi, John. Congratulations on proactively taking steps to improve your website and your business. Ask a Web Geek is a weekly live show hosted by CJ Gilbert and starring your questions. We have had some amazing questions. We have had some amazing questions. Here is a quick recap so you can jump to the show. What do we think? Here is a quick recap so you can jump to the show with the answer, with the answers you need next. How's that? We have had some amazing questions in our first dozen shows. Here is a quick recap so you can jump to the show with the answers you need next. Um, let's, let's separate that because I'll tell you why. I have an idea of what I want to put in be between that. We have had some amazing questions and starring your questions. Okay, I want to reference episode zero and starring your questions. So I'm going to put start here. Check out episode zero. Check out our five minute episode zero to hear how the show works each week. And then I'm going to make this start here more of a headline. We're going to make it a we're going to make it bolder or bigger like that. Start here. Check out our five minute episode zero to hear, and let's spell that correctly, to hear how the show works each week. 
Good. Good, good, good. Okay, so now, now I need the link to five minute episode zero. So I'm gonna go right over here to our website and I'm gonna come down to our episodes page. Bup, 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 bup. And I'm gonna scroll down. Do I have a link? Wouldn't it be great if I had a link to episode zero? We can go older, ep older entries. Here it is, episode zero. I'm gonna grab that link. I'm gonna save it. Good, 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 good. Okay, so I've got that link now. So we're gonna come over here, check out our five minute episode zero. So then we're gonna click on this button right here, which is gonna make it a link. And I'm gonna drop the link in right there. And we'll click OK. All right. Start here. OK. Hey, if you're listening as a podcast, there's a lot of me thinking during this episode. So congratulations. You can hear the sound of my brain working. You might hear some, some sparks. You might hear a small fire. Okay, start here. Check out our five minute episode zero to hear how the show works each week. And then one, two, three. And then we'll call this. Um, is this going to make sense? I don't know. Episode. Which? Episode six recap. Two hours later. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to put start here. I'm going to put episode zero. And then I'm going to put over here. Learn more in our episode six recap. We'll make that one level 15. And we need a little more space there. And then I'm going to put <clears throat> in episode. Am I going to give them the same information twice at this point? Because I want to refer them to episode six because we did a great recap show of the first five episodes. But I'm going to kind of recap that all now. So. Burp, 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 burp. Is that the best thing to do? No, it is not. OK, all right. We're going to we're going to we're going to do this. We're going to call this episode recap. I've changed my mind live. Episode recap. We have had some amazing questions in our first dozen shows. Here is a quick recap so you can jump to the show with the answers you need next. Bup, 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 bup. OK, so next. We're going to hit the save button right down here. It auto saves, but we're going to hit that save button. I always hit save. Hit save, you guys. It's a good thing to do. OK, now. I'm going to just paste all this information in. Ba bam And we're going to go back through and make it prettier. <laughs> Is that too much? We'll deal with it as we go. But, 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 but we've had some amazing questions in our first dozen shows. Here is a quick recap of our first 10 episodes. We have had some amazing questions and community involvement, engagement, involvement, community involvement, engagement. We've had some amazing questions and I'm in, I'm I'm encouraging your your answers, by the way, Facebook community, if you've got more ideas of how I should word these 
Uh, you, you're, you're seeing the behind the scenes process right now. We have had some amazing questions and community involvement. Involvement. Right from the beginning. And did I spell beginning right? Yes. Here is a quick recap of our first 10 episodes. So you can jump. So you can jump right to the show with the answers you need next. Good. Okay, now do we want it to say episode? Do we want it to say it would be advantageous if we had the titles in each one? Would it? Wouldn't it? Let's see. Let's see how quickly and easily I can grab that. Yes. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm -hmm. Let's see. How do I want to do this most quickly and easily? Well, we'll just do it like this because that way you can see it. All right. How do we want this to look? So this one's going to be bolded. All right, so episode one, we talked about a scheduling tool that integrates with Apple, how to use PR web good for backlinks, and how to use personal domain name with Gmail. Okay, you know what? We're just going to go ahead and move through this and improve it as we go. So that's our link. And I could take the extra step to add a little bit of extra code to each one of these links to show myself later that it came from this email, but that's going to take a lot more time. And because you're watching and I want to get through as much of this as possible, I will not do that right now. So you're just going to watch me go through and style this for a minute. We're going to make that link a link. Boom. Then we're going to grab episode three. Bup, 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 bup. So in episode two, we talked about websites versus funnels, which is best and why. We talked about recommending a client management system and a project management system. In episode three, we talked about one main website versus multiple landing pages. And we created a PayPal button live on the show, which then uh, ended up on the home page. If you see that PayPal button on the home page of the website, it came from episode three when we built that live. Okay, so here we are in episode four, Community Baby Steps. And we talked about how to add a video to a portion of your Facebook cover photo. Talked about cheap offline marketing things that business owners can do. And we talked about affiliate marketing programs, how to become an affiliate for others or how to have others become an affiliate for you. Moving right into episode five, called One Baby Bite at a Time. We encourage people to keep jumping into our ongoing conversations. We talked about how to switch between personal and business profiles when you're responding to your comments on your Facebook page. And we talked about the best times of day to send an email newsletter. Then we're going into episode six. This is my confusion earlier, right at the beginning of this email, because episode six, I wanted to call it out right away. We recap all our, we recap our first five episodes so you can find exactly what can help you. And bup, 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 bup. There we go, got the link in there for that. And we're gonna click save, save, make sure to save. All righty. Episode seven, own your web jungle. We had a really cool tip. Um, I shared a resource. If you have too many links, but only one spot for a, a website link, you have too many things to share. There's a really cool tool you can use to help you with that. We also talked about some effective ways to market a webinar. And we talked about the value of using WordPress as opposed to other website builders. 
And what I said in that show may surprise you. Um, I'll give you a little teeny piece. Your website is the only thing you can fully own and control on the internet. Again, your website is the only thing you can fully own and control on the internet. You should be using social media. You should be using all those other places, but you should be aware those companies, they want you to come and build their website. They want you to publish content for them to their website. And you should go and engage people there because that's where people are, but you shouldn't give it all away. Keep keep that power on your own website. Publish to your website first and then go to all those other places and say, hey, just wrote a great article on business networking. You should come to my blog and check that out. By the way, we're on episode nine about how to, uh, oh, let me, let me backtrack. Uh, that was that own your web jungle. That was episode seven. We talked about that. We talked about that. We talked about that. Episode eight, we talked about how I became a lion with the Lions Club. Woo, shout out to Lions Club. We talked about the effective ways to market a webinar, the difference between a .com, a .net, and a .org, uh, what's the benefit of one versus the other. We talked about some advice on how to grow a YouTube channel and how to grow an email list. Then in episode nine, we talked about uh, titled Networking Your Way Through the Business Jungle. We talked about business networking, how I do it, how best to do it, some tips and tricks. And we referenced a blog article that I wrote on my blog about business networking. So great resources, great information for you to check out there. And then finally, episode 10 was last week, we talked about your goals and demographic targeting. We talked about the two most important questions for your website and your business. And we also talked about adv our advice on crafting testimonials for your website. So that's it. That's the, uh, that's the rundown um, of the show. Click save. And we're going to go total episode recap because that sounds funny to me. Total recap, little little 80s joke there. Uh, how does that look? How does that look? Good, good, good. Lots of information. Hopefully that's going to provide some great links and ways uh, that people can jump onto the show. Next question, should I leave these Facebook group and YouTube buttons and stuff down here? Yes. Yes, I think I should leave everything else there. Um, yes, I should. Okay. Should I say anything else between this piece and that piece? Let's take a look at how this looks. There's that total episode recap. There's all the episodes. And okay, let's title this what's next and we'll make that a uh, 15 font to make it a bit of a headline what's next join the facebook group save i i hit control s that's what i automatically do most of the time to save things that works in most software but not on websites it wants to save it as a website okay so that's it and we are done. Uh, one last thing is I'm just gonna tweak a little teeny piece of this so I know it came from the recap email. Ask a week. Good enough and we're gonna click save and we're gonna click save and exit. I don't know why it keeps saying this because I am hitting save. All right, so now that is complete. So we're gonna let it think about that for just a second. And now that email message is ready to go and it's gonna be part of our autoresponder sequence. So if you go to the ASCO WebGeek website and you sign up for the email list, you're gonna get that first email first, it's the welcome email. And then three days later, you're gonna get this recap episode, a recap email titled, do you have any of these questions? 
And that's it. So all we have to do is hit save and exit. Just like that. And I can go over here and click send a test. So I'm just going to pop in. Um, if you have any questions about what I'm doing, let me know. Otherwise, I'm not going to mention it. I'm just sending myself a real quick email and then I'm going to pull it up because it's going to pop up live. Yep, there it popped up down there. And let's pop it up here. Boop, there it is. And I'm going to say display images and ask a web geek. And there I'm now looking at the email that we've just sent out. And it looks good. And all of those links look good. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm checking the links. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And then join our Facebook group and subscribe on YouTube and listen as a podcast. And that's it. Ask a web geek. Bup, 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 bup. Good. That looks phenomenal. OK, so we're going to make that go down there. And then we're going to go ahead and reactivate this campaign. Boom. OK, so. I have a question that I am not sure exactly if it's true or not. Now, I just added an email. Uh, yeah, hi, hi, Garrison. I know he says we're not seeing the email you're looking at. I know it was on a different screen. Um, and it would have shared too much information to share that with you. So it's the email I just created that you were just looking at. Um, I saw it in the final form. OK, so the next piece is here's my question for myself. Now that I've added that to the campaign, are the people who are already on that campaign going to get that email automatically or will they not get it because they're already in the campaign? This is a question I have. So we'll see. We'll see what happens next. I'm curious if you are one of our uh, people on that list, if you will get this email. So um, I don't know for sure if you will or not. If it does not automatically get sent out to everybody, what you, what you need to do is you add it to the campaign and then you also create it as a broadcast. So you're just going to copy the email and then blast it out one time, boom, to everyone. If I had to guess, see, I don't want to guess and be wrong. I've heard it both ways. I've heard it that if you're already on the email list, you will get anything that that gets added to the um, to the campaign. And then I've also heard you will not. If you've already gone through the sequence, it's not going to send you new emails that you add to the end of that sequence. But I've heard it both ways, so I'm not 100% sure here in this live moment with all of your eyeballs staring at me which way is which. So we'll figure it out. What I may do is just leave it just like that for now, and we'll see. If that email gets sent out automatically, um, I'll figure that out. If it does not, then I'm going to create a copy of it and send it as a broadcast to the people who are already on that list. In fact, I may do that anyway, um, just to send it out to everybody on my list to say, hey, uh, do you have any of these questions? In fact, I'm going to. I'm going to do that. I'm going to make a copy of that, and I'm going to blast it out to everybody on my email list so you can see all the great stuff that we've um, that we've already been covering. But because we're running out of time on the show, I'm going to do that another time. So that was me creating a live email for you and adding it to our campaign. It is live on the campaign right now. So if you sign up at askawebgeek.com, you're going to get the welcome email. And then three days later, you're going to get that recap email. All righty, so let's uh, from there, let's jump back over to our PowerPoint presentation. Yep, that's my reminder call. I've got a I'm appearing as a guest on somebody else's podcast here in about 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and uh, finish out the show together. We'll jump back over here to our slides and just uh, finish things off together. Uh, now it's time to ask a web geek. That was all under the featured topic part. And look at the slide that I created uh, while going through all this information. It may be difficult for you to read this, but I just read it to you as I was making that email because this is all the stuff that we've already answered on the show. So it's everything that I just read to you already. 
So we've got all that information already in the archive and we still invite your questions. Join our conversations in the Facebook group. These are conversations that are actively going uh, from the beginning of the show. We had people asking about recommendations on customer relationship management tools or CRMs or project management tools. Um, so check out all these ongoing conversations. Peter prompted us to ask about good books and resources for offline, inexpensive guerrilla marketing techniques. We are still looking for your questions and engagement and comments and ideas for this topic. So please come to our Facebook group and jump into these conversations. And the last thing I wanted to talk about today was uh, we we have this ongoing conversation about project management tools. And we uh, we already talked about Trello and we also talked about Monday and I found another conversation happening in a different group and they were also talking about project management tools and these were the three that they really talked about the most. There was a couple others that they mentioned but these are the three that they that people said over and over again that they used. Trello, Monday, and this one called Asana. So I just wanted to mention it real briefly that um, in a room of professionals using project management tools, these are the three. So I'm curious if you have any uh, if you have any experience with any of those, Trello, Monday, or Asana. That was a new one to me, but it was mentioned a lot. Um, we've had some comments that Monday might be a little cost prohibitive for some people to use. Um, so I invite your experience. I'd love to hear more about what you what you think about that. Um, and, um, and the Asana website, I was just looking at that. It seems like a really great tool for... Um, for that. So let me just pull that up really quickly here. Asana.com. Let me take you back over there. We're just waiting for that website. So here's the uh, here's the third tool. We haven't talked about it yet today, but I did want to mention it to you because it was mentioned a lot to um, in that group. So here it is. It kind of looks a little like Trello, but I think it's a little more sophisticated because of the way that you can create this timeline and you can move things around and uh, here's how you can create your marketing campaigns. So um, there's some videos you can watch. So I wanted to bring that up to you as a possible resource that could help you. Um, well, this is interesting. Look, the, uh, find out why Forrester thinks collaborative work management is essential for business success and why Asana is named a leader in the market. Look, they're mentioning their, they're mentioning their, um, their competitors. So that's pretty interesting. Um, so that's pretty cool. You can try it for free. Let's take a, let's take a quick look at that pricing guide. I'm really curious what that looks like. All right, Asana, what's your pricing look like? The, um, the premium model, uh, the premium plan is about $13.50 billed monthly. Uh, and the business plan is about $30 uh, and change billed monthly. And this is all the stuff that's included. Basic. How much is that basic one? Is it, There's no cost on there. Does that mean it's free? I don't know. For individuals or teams just getting started with project management, Garrison, sign up for that and see what you think. Asana.com, see if you can get started, see if that basic level is free, and let's play around with that. And here's everything that's included in the different levels. So I'll let you check that out offline, see what other thoughts you have about that. Uh, that was another tip that was brought up to me this week, so I wanted to share it with you. All righty. Glad that you're with us this morning. This has been the Ask a Web Geek show. This week sponsored by The Active Life Company. Check them out at theactivelifecompany.com. Melissa gave me a mug and became our first official coffee mug sponsor of the show. We appreciate it so much, so we encourage you to check her out, theactivelifecompany.com. Use this code WEBGEEK to get 15% off your purchase. Get 15% off using WEBGEEK at theactivelifecompany.com. Also, make sure to go sign up for Eric's calls, amcall.gilbertstudios.com 
amcall.gilbertstudios.com. Sign up for these free calls. Get your day started right. Get, put yourself in a mindset of success. Only 15 minutes a day, totally free, and one of the best things you can do to get yourself started in your day. And then finally, make sure to check out mywebsitesafari.com. Once again, that is mywebsitesafari.com. This is a free tool, a free video workshop for you and all of your entrepreneurial friends where you can go through these seven videos. They're 10 minutes a piece and they allow you to work on a piece of your business and a piece of your website uh, one section at a time and they build on each other. So start with that first video, tiptoe your way through that, that jungle of content and you'll get a lot of great ideas. Keep your eyes out for those golden nuggets and you'll get a whole bunch of them. Well, let me know if you have any questions or comments. Let me know if I can support you in any way. Please join our Facebook community. Subscribe on Twitter. Uh, follow on Twitter. Subscribe on YouTube. And uh, finally, listen as a podcast. Would really appreciate you doing that. And uh, if you're an Apple user, make sure to subscribe on Apple Podcasts and leave a review. Would you please? Would really appreciate your support there. So uh, that's it for today. Let me check in with our studio audience real quick before we go. Uh, Garrison says he will check out that Asana and see if that's a good tool for us to use on our projects. Meanwhile, I hope that you have a wonderful week. I'm wishing you a happy, wonderful website Wednesday. Let me know if I can support you in any way. Come to our website, askawebgeek.com, for all those links and details to all the different places you can follow and like and subscribe and tweet and all that kind of good stuff. I would love to hear if you found the show as a podcast. That would be very interesting for me. Uh, and... I would very much love for you to join our Facebook community and jump into all those questions, comments, and conversations that are already going on with your ideas and recommendations for all those points. So thanks for being with us this week. My name is CJ Gilbert. We're live here in the web jungle every Wednesday at 9 a.m. noon Pacific, excuse me, 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern to answer any of your questions on websites, marketing, online tools, or resources. We want to make your business better. My business is to help your business. So with CJ and Gilbert Studios website design live from the web jungle, want to wish you a wonderful, wonderful week. We understand that the internet is a jungle. It's too easy to get lost and fall down hidden traps and go down the path you didn't want to and get stuck in that quicksand you didn't even see coming. You need to join up with a village, with a tribe of people that are all moving through the jungle together so that you can get where you want to go. Have a wonderful week. God bless. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Two hours later. Make your website better. Make your whole business better. The internet's a jungle. Roar! See you next week.